Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to share with you a glimpse of a busy week in my life as a musician in London. I try to film as much as I can and be as transparent as possible in hopes to show you the truth about being a musician in London. So let's start off my week with Monday. Like everybody else, I start my day with waking up and brushing my teeth. After getting freshened up in the toilet, I head to the kitchen and make my coffee and breakfast. It's going to be a long and busy week, and today is my only full day at home. I need to make sure I rest and prepare myself for the week ahead. Next on the agenda is to practice the entire set for the show coming up on Thursday. The gig is a headline show for Fleur East, a UK artist. We only had one rehearsal prior to that day, so I need to make sure I deliver. The show consisted of 17 songs, so I took my time practicing and tried to perfect all the guitar parts. Afterward, I had a quick lunch, and since I had some extra time before my scheduled call with my patron, I decided to work on my song. It sounds a little like this. Was it the skin or the sound? Okay, I'm not gonna show too much. Later, when the time comes, I had my call with my patron and we had a lovely time catching up on our lives. If you have been seeing my Shrek covers, my original songs, and if you love my music and want to support me as an independent artist, why not consider becoming my patron? Not only you will get to chat with me personally like what I just did with my patron, you will get to see behind the scenes of my life, of my songwriting, of the songs that I'm working on, of the unreleased songs. Also, this will really help me in creating my next debut EP album. Any contributions at all will go directly in the funding of my next EP album. I hope to see you there. After the call, I had to do some workout. Even though I didn't film myself working out, I managed to take this funny clip for TikTok. And then shower, dinner, sleep. And that's pretty much Monday done. Welcome to Tuesday. And today we have a full day rehearsal. So I decided to use this cheeky giraffe cup for my morning coffee. Oops, my ride is here. Gotta go. Two hours later. After two painful hours in the traffic, we finally got to the studio and it's a really funky studio, don't you think? There's like this pinball table, which probably no one plays. The team set up the place, the sound guys set up the desk, we set up our own instruments and we're ready to go. It's gonna be a real long rehearsal, but of course we'll push through. But first, I gotta get my iced tea fixed. Let the rehearsals begin. <laughs> Rehearsals went on all day and we finally finished at 9 in the evening. We packed up and headed home. I was exhausted so I went straight to bed knowing that the full rehearsals with the dancers and floor would be next day. Little Miss Sunshine for my morning coffee. I thought I deserved a cappuccino so here I go making some oat milk cappuccino from my velvetizer. And I'm having my very simple overnight oats because ain't nobody got time for complicated breakfast. My ride's here so off I go. You see, as a hired gun, we really have to know our parts whilst killing the two hours drive. We practice a song playing air guitar and air keyboards so that we know the song inside out. We finally arrived at the studio and had my second coffee again and today we were gonna rehearse with all the dancers. So camera crews because Fleur is making a documentary out of it. So rehearsals went through all day. We had some Nando's for lunch. And as usual, I need my iced tea fix again. And this one's from Nando's. And that's pretty much it. It's time to pack and go home and get ready for tomorrow, which is the headline show day. We got to the Union Chapel really early. Such a beautiful, beautiful venue. It's actually a little bit weird to have pews and a gig and people saying they're watching the show, but Eh, who cares? We proceed to have sound check and run a couple of bits of show that we want to run and then we got dressed and the musicians were stuffed in this little tiny dressing room. We got Nando's again for dinner and it was the show. Hmm, we're quite in sync, are we? And my guitar solo's coming up. After one and a half hours, it was all cheers, all clap. That was a great show. 
but the week is not done yet for me. I still have to get to Paris the next day. So I'm off to Paris for a show with Hermes. It was noon time, so it was not too bad. It was train rides after train rides, and finally, I am in Paris by afternoon. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of Paris traffic. I got to the hotel and got my iced tea fix again. At night time, the main agenda was to have soundtrack. We were playing in this horse show, which was hosted by Hermes. There was horse jumping, maybe the horse dancing. I'm not too sure about the event, but hey, we're paid to be there. And after the soundtrack, we head back to the hotel and have a good night rest. It was a really nice day on Saturday. Blue skies and sunny in Paris. We were living just right by the Eiffel Tower, so I went for a walk and decided that I needed a haircut. Whose great idea was it to have a haircut? Where you don't know nothing about the language. Anyway, I got the haircut, continued my walk, classic Paris with trash pile higher than my dreams. And finally, it's showtime, which was like 11 o'clock. We were playing right outside Eiffel Tower, so that was pretty cute. We finished the day with some champagne and some dancing, which didn't really work. And we just decided to go back, really. I guess we're all really tired, and especially me, because I didn't have a good night's sleep. Sunday came, it's time to go home. Nothing much happened, just took another train, watched a little bit of the Grand Prix and So what's the truth of being a musician and making a living? I've specifically chosen this busy week to show you because I didn't want to just show you me being in a desk and just editing and recording That would probably be the most boring video that you would ever watch I would say that every show is different, every day is different For example, this particular show in Paris for Ernie's They got us in the day before the show We actually got a whole day off because the show was like at 11 o'clock at night So we got to do anything that we want in Paris so that's actually really really fun but it's pretty rare actually because people want to save money for hotels and people don't want to pay more for your time so that's actually really rare but I would say the truth of being a musician making a living of course number one it's really tough it's a lot of competition because there's so many great musicians out there you have so many people that want to make this their living the competition is high <laughs> you have to always be in your A game for example if the night before the artist wants to go out partying the next day if it's the show you can't mess up just because your hangover i think that's a non-negotiable you have to be on top of your game no matter what your talent your technical skills all of those stuff they bring you attention people might hire you for the talent but it's actually the other things that keep you there if you're always late for call time you're always late for rehearsal i don't think anyone would want to work with you anymore and also the band dynamic because you're traveling so much together you have to be friends you have to get along with your bandmates and also sometimes if people get rid of you it's not really personal it's just business and the label might want a different direction for the band they might run on a budget to have another extra member so that's another thing in the equation so you really have to be on top of the game to be irreplaceable for me a lot of people that i've worked with they hired me to just play solos honestly that little 30 seconds moment that's what made my contribution quite special there are actually a lot of other people out there who can do what i do but i have my own uniqueness about what i how i play my guitar and how i do things i don't just play solos or play rock songs all the time i can play other things and i'm really good at them as well so you kind of need to figure out how to be jack of all trades and to be a master of one among other things i do tracks for artists as well this life is tough it's not as glamorous as you think but at the moment i'm enjoying it i'm gonna keep on doing this until my wheels fall off probably <laughs> apart from that i think it's really important to have something to fall back on i know i haven't covered a lot of things in this video if you have any questions feel free to write your questions in the comments i will reply and also don't forget to join my patreon community i really want to see my ep through anything that you can contribute it would go directly towards the making of my EP. If you want to see more of my tour diaries, check out this playlist. And if you want to see my shred covers, check out this playlist. <laughs>